welcome back to the Solutions Lab. I'm Chris Phillips, DNH's Solutions and Pre-Sales Team Lead. Today, we're going to be talking about video conferencing equipment, the spaces that it's going into and the hardware that goes into each one of those spaces. Because after all, every conference room is different. Some support only four to eight people, and some are large boardrooms that have anywhere from 12 to 20 people in it. And the video conferencing equipment that's going into each one of those spaces is going to be a little bit different. So the solutions we're going to be showing today are actually going to be able to scale to each one of these rooms. On the conferencing hardware side, we're going to be actually talking about two different Logitech devices, the Logitech Meetup for the small spaces and the Logitech Rally for the large spaces. And whether it's the small space or the large space, each one of those cameras brings something different to the table, but they're built on the same core technology. And that's Logitech's new Right Sense technology. Right Sense is actually built on three different pillars, Right Light, Right Sight, and Right Sound. Right Light helps everyone look their best, no matter what the lighting situation is, whether it's heavily backlit or front lit. Right Light auto balances each person individually and ensures that their skin tones are natural. Right Sight is a camera control technology that automatically moves and adjusts the camera based on the number of people that are in the conference. Right Sound reduces the amount of unwanted noise and makes sure that every person that's part of this conference is heard equally, no matter how loud or how soft they are speaking. And best of all, all these technologies work automatically without any input from the user. Let's get started in the small conference room with the Meetup. So here we are in our small conference space. Uh, this space uh, seats about four people. It's traditionally called a huddle space as well. And this space can pose uh, certain problems that a larger space can't, uh, in that the, the people that are in the space are sitting in very close proximity to the screen and therefore the conference camera. Uh, a traditional conference camera wouldn't have the, the field of view necessary to capture all four people uh, effectively for a video conference. Uh, that's why uh, Logitech released this about a year and a half ago. It's the Logitech Meetup. Uh, the key feature about this uh, particular camera is that it has a wide field of view, 120 degrees field of view, which allows it in a small space to capture everyone uh, in the meeting. Uh, we have this in, as part of this solution uh, connected to a small form factor PC. This is a Nook. Uh, you can use any kind of form, small form factor PC, whether it be Logitech, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Lenovo, HPE, um, MSI, whatever uh, vendor you choose to go with, uh, you can use whatever PC you'd like. And this PC is actually going to be the thing that's driving our conference software, whether it be Skype for Business, Zoom, uh, uh, Cisco, WebEx. Uh, the, the wonderful thing about the Logitech products is that they're, they're designed to use on all of the, uh, the conferencing solutions. Um, so the PC is going to be driving the thing that's driving the actual web conference. It's connected via USB into the camera. The camera also has an optional uh, microphone, as you can see here, that is on the table that you connect to the back of this to give you an additional mic uh, for the table so everyone can be here a little bit clearer. Uh, however, the uh, real sight technology uh, wasn't actually uh, released by the time that this was uh, put out about a year ago. Um, so in order to get that technology into this camera, you actually do have to do a firmware update. So what I would suggest you do is go to Logitech.com, uh, go to their Meetup page, download the uh, firmware for 7.1, which will enable all the uh, right sense technology, and in particular, the right scene technology, and then download the Logitech uh, camera app. And I'm going to open up the camera app here real quick and tell you, show you how to enable it. If you uh, go into the camera app, uh, you're going to see down here there's an auto framing button. If you enable that, that's going to enable the auto framing, which will allow the camera to uh, take a look at the scene, find the people in the scene, and reframe the shot based on all the people that are in it. So it found that there, I was the only one in the scene. It grabbed uh, me and it reframed the shot. So I'm clearly the person that the camera sees, and it's more zoomed in on me, and everyone that's on the other end of the conference call can uh, see me. But as other people come to this meeting, the camera is now going to auto frame and is going to grab all those other people and, and make sure that they're seen as well. So at this time, I'm actually going to bring in a second person. I'm going to bring Kyle in. He's our Logitech uh, sales specialist. Kyle, how's it going? Going all right. Thanks for having Pretty me, good. Chris. 
And as Kyle sits down and gets settled into the meeting, the camera's going <laughs> to find him and reframe the shot uh, so everyone on our conference call can see Kyle. Uh, Kyle, uh, you want to take a moment and uh, tell everyone, introduce yourself and tell everyone what you do? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Kyle McDonald. I'm the Logitech Specialist here at DNDH Distributing. Um, my goal here at Logitech, um, I'm sorry, my role here at DNDH is to actually help you guys sell this product much easier. Um, you know, when it comes to spot pricing, you know, allocation, uh, demos and samples, I'm your guy when it comes to selling this great rally solution. So just here to help you make your uh, life easier when it comes to selling this to your customers. Awesome. And as you can see, as you were talking, the camera has uh, picked up that you're here, has reframed the shot, made sure we're both in it, uh, so that on this conference call now that everyone can be seen and we can kind of have the conversation with ourselves and the people that are on the other end, and it's all a very seamless process. We didn't have to do anything to reframe that. So it makes uh, even for the people that aren't very tech savvy, they can effectively use it. Exactly. Uh, if our customers want to get a hold of you, uh, what's the best way of uh, doing that? So if you guys ever want to get a hold of me, I can be reached at this alias, the Logitech Specialist at dnh.com. Yep. Um, that's great. Uh, and that's pretty much it for, for the, the meetup. I want to jump over to, to talk about the Rally because that's the new product for, for this. Unlike the meetup, the Rally is uh, designed for a much larger space, uh, not uh, four to eight, more something along the lines of 15 to 20. 20. It can do auditorium sizes up to, up to 60 people. But it's also designed with uh, the, all the real sense uh, technologies, right sight, right light, right sound, and we're going to show all that stuff off as well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So here we are in our larger conference space. And as you can see, compared to the smaller space we were just in, this area is much more spread out. Uh, it seats about 15 people. The actual uh, people are about three table lengths maximum back from the displays, which can pose its own level of challenges. Uh, because everyone's a little bit more spread out, you need a camera that can capture the people that are far in the room as well as the people that are in the close end of the room. Uh, so I want to go over this entire rally solution that we have uh, in front of you. Uh, not just the Logitech parts, but all the parts, because I think they're all important and it's something that we, well, we need to go over in detail. And we're going to start from the wall back, and we're going to start with these two 55-inch displays. And these are two uh, commercial-grade displays. These are NECs. A uh, great thing about this, you can use any kind of displays you would like uh, uh, from any uh, vendor or manufacturer. We recommend, though, you're using commercial grade displays. Uh, they are connected HDMI in to the Logitech uh, uh, Rally, which we'll show in a little bit. The second portion to this is the actual Logitech Rally speakers. Now, these speakers are different from any of the other speakers out there because these speakers work within, uh, within conjunction with the microphones to cancel out the audio that's coming from these and the mics, but as well as to cancel out the vibrations that come from the speakers that could affect the camera. Inside this speaker, all the actual components are suspended within this actual casing, which reduces the overall vibrations that the speaker puts out dramatically. So if you have these speakers on a table with the camera like we do in front of us, the actual audio isn't going to vibrate the table, which isn't going to vibrate the camera, which isn't going to shake the shot. Uh, that's very important. If these are wall mounted, it's not going to shake the wall, and it's also not going to put audio going back into the conference room that's on the other side. So it's one thing to kind of uh, to, to keep in mind. You not only want to build out a solution that's great for the room that you're in, but you also don't want the, the room you're in solution to affect the adjacent rooms. That's why speakers like this are, are highly recommended. Uh, these also do have mounting kits. Uh, they are sold separately, so make sure that uh, if you're putting it into a speaker or in a room like this, you want to mount the speakers to the wall to get the mounting kits. Uh, the next uh, thing up, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the camera off of the side, is the display hub. This is kind of the central unit for the uh, audio video that's actually happening up here. Uh, this is where the speakers connect to. This is where the HDMI out comes from uh, the, the PC to the display hub to the, uh, to the actual displays. And we'll show that uh, section of it a little bit later. Uh, this is also where the camera is connected as well. Um, the Logitech Rally camera is actually the next uh, important part. And I'm going to show you this one real quick. Uh, this is a 4K camera as well. Unlike uh, the Logitech uh, Meetup, this has a shallower, uh, shorter field of view, only 90 degrees, but it does have a 15x optical zoom, which allows it 
to capture a clear image of people across the room where the meetup would put a, 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 a more grainy picture because I'd be doing a digital zoom. Uh, this one doing an optical zoom may, means you have a much clearer vision. It still has all the real sense technologies built in. Uh, so, so it's the same as the, the, the meetup as that point. Um, and this unit actually then connects to the display hub as well. And as you can imagine there, you have speakers, you have displays, you have a camera, uh, you have a lot of audio video equipment coming up here that all needs to connect to a PC to run your conferencing solution. So you can imagine that might be a cabling nightmare. You gotta run two sound cables, two video cables, a USB cable to the, to the PC, that's gonna be a cabling nightmare. Well, the Logitech Rally solution actually has simplified it and has simplified it because of this hub. Coming out of this hub is a simple CAT6 connection and there's only one cable that connects the display hub to the table hub to the PC. So this is the only thing you need to connect the two pieces together. Um, so even if you have existing CAT6 cabling in your wall, it's easy to just connect in and get to the table. So now we're gonna move over to the table hub side and take a look at what it looks like on that side. We're gonna jump into the computer and also take a look at what the rally looks like. So here we are over here at the table side of the hub. And as you can see, again, we just have that simple CAT6 connection coming off the display hub into the table hub. And we're gonna talk about what we got going on here a little bit. And I'm gonna set this microphone off to the side. What we have here is our, our PC that is running our conference uh, software. Um, and underneath it is the table hub. This is what connects uh, to the display hub and allows this simple uh, connection via that uh, CAT6 cable. On the PC side, we have a Intel Nook. Again, you can use whatever kind of PC you'd like. We have two HDMIs out going to the HDMI ends of the table hub that are going to our two displays in the front. We have a single USB cable that is connecting all of the Logitech Rally uh, devices to this to PC, whether it be the microphones that are in front of me, the Rally camera, or the speakers. Uh, all three of them are coming through that USB uh, cable and showing up as USB devices. And because they're showing up as US USB devices, it allows you to use this solution on pretty much any platform you'd like. Again, whether it be Skype for Business, whether it be Zoom, uh, Cisco WebEx, or Intermedia like we showed uh, on the Any, Any Meeting platform uh, a couple webcasts ago. Very, very flexible in that, st uh, that point of view. Uh, moving away from the table hub, we actually have a, a little device here that I absolutely love that I wanted to uh, uh, point out. This is the Logitech Screen Share. And what this allows you to do is plug in uh, via USB and it gives you an HDMI in for HDMI ingestion. So if you have an outside presenter that's coming into your conference room that would like to uh, present a, off of their laptop or a PowerPoint presentation or show something to the conference environment, they can connect to this via, U, uh, via HDMI and then it just shows up as another USB camera that you can change to uh, in your, your, your settings and go ahead and show their PC as well. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility uh, so you're just not showing just the camera. Uh, we have a, a USB uh, keyboard, a lot wireless keyboard, allows us to log in and kind of get the meeting started. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. So I also wanna take a moment to talk about uh, the mics as well. The mics is the, the last thing that's connected to uh, this bundle. And uh, it kind of also segues into the final two pillars that we haven't talked about in right sense. That is right light and right audio. And we're gonna start with the right audio. And what these, uh, what these mics are doing different than a, a standard conference mic is it is sampling the room we're in uh, 120 times a second. And it's sampling it for a number of different things. It's sampling it for just general noise that, that's not human audio. And it's making sure that that noise isn't being transmitted on the microphone. Uh, we're in a, uh, the solutions lab. We do have a, several servers running in this room, so it can have a little bit of a background hum. This, this table mic is, uh, is listening for that hum and making sure that it's not going through to the camera, or to the conference, excuse me. It's also listening for human audio, my audio, or any audio from any other people. And it's making sure that that audio is cl heard clearly and is leveled properly. If I'm speaking a little bit louder than the person next to me or someone that's down the table, 
it's going to make sure that all of our audio is uh, leveled equally so no one is overpowering anyone else. Uh, it's also able to pick out single people and, and create waves or lines of audio, lines of communication to each person. You could theoretically have uh, a, a number of different people sitting around these mics all speaking at this mic, and this mic is intelligent enough to give each person their own separate uh, input in and allow you to, uh, allows it to level each person uh, individually again, making sure everyone's heard clearly. Uh, with that being said, I kind of want to show you what it, hear, uh, what it sounds like and also kind of show you what real light looks like. So we're going to jump over and take a look at the actual audio or listen to the actual audio and see the actual video coming out of the rally uh, camera to kind of give you a sense of what the finished product looks like. So here we are on the actual rally camera and uh, mics itself. And as you can hear, we've, we've turned off my lapel mic and we're actually just using the microphones that are on the table. And my audio hasn't really changed very much from a lapel mic to a table mic. It's doing a great job of making sure it's just picking up my audio. And if we had multiple people talking as well, it would auto level our, our voices, make sure everyone's heard clearly. And the other thing I want to note here is uh, we're actually in a fairly dimly lit uh, studio room now. And even in this environment, uh, it's doing a pretty good job of making sure all the, the colors are, are leveled and make sure everything's seen properly. If we had a full conference room, we'd be able to see everyone properly. Uh, but one of the one things I do want to show, because what sets this apart from something like the meetup that we showed a little bit e uh, earlier, is that optical zoom. And even though I'm sitting very, very far away from the camera, it's able to zoom in all the way to me and get a very clear picture of me from across the room. So even as, as I'm just sitting across the room, it's able to find me and go, hey, there I am, give me clear uh, picture, good skin tones, good color representation. One other thing I want to mention on the microphone size is these microphones are scalable. Right now we're using three on our tables, but you can daisy chain up to seven. And there are also uh, mounting solutions that allow you to uh, connect multiple mics to a single microphone. So if you have a little weird uh, uh, layout for your conference room, uh, there is a way to properly connect everything together in a, in a smooth and hassle-free manner. But that also leads to the scalability of this whole solution. That's one of the main things that draws me to all of these, these Logitech solutions, are that you can scale them as far out as taking the rally camera, uh, mounting it to the ceiling of an auditorium, and using that in an auditorium setting with 60 people, still having microphones spread out throughout those 60 people, and getting a very, very clear uh, audio video conferencing uh, set up. It, it, it can scale out that far. It can scale to uh, a 15 uh, person conference room like here with a couple different microphones. You're still getting a, a, a rally camera for those uh, shots where you need a little bit more distance. Or you can continue to scale back where you're just using a, a rally camera in a medium sized room with about 10 people. You, you want to pan zoom or you want to go into a smaller space like we were showing earlier. You can go back down to the, to the meetup. And, and still get a clear uh, conferencing experience no matter where you are in that setup. So that's one thing we, I hope we've illustrated to you today is these solutions, no matter what space you're in, can, can grow with your customer. If they want to start off with a rally with one microphone and, and then move that into a larger space, they're more than able to. If they want to start off with a meetup in a small space and they really liked how that turned out and they want a similar solution for a larger space, that's when you kind of move them over to the rally and, and continue them down that path. And even if they switch platforms later on, they switch from Skype to Business to Zoom, or they switch from Zoom to any, any, media, any meeting, the hardware doesn't change at all. They, they can continue using the same hardware. And as new hardware is released to make this even simpler, they can just upgrade and continue to go without having to throw away their existing video conferencing equipment. So with all of that being said, uh, that's pretty much it for, for this one. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you would like to ask, uh, we are doing a live Q&A immediately following this presentation. So stick with us. 
Uh, if you have any questions after the fact, you can email us at solutionslab at dnh.com. If you have any questions for Kyle, you saw a little bit uh, earlier for any Logitech promos or pricings or spas, you can email Logitech Specialist at dnh.com and he'd be more than happy to uh, uh, reach out to you there. But with that, uh, thank you for joining us and I'll be talking to you in a moment.